All right, let's get some slams going. Raw, raw. Ah! Oh my goodness! Slams are so powerful. GGG is censoring them. Uh, oh my goodness! No, no, GGG, stop it! I just want to see my slams. <laughs> Welcome! It's your friendly neighborhood Badger here, and I am back with another video in the 3.11 Harvest League with an update to my second solo self found softcore character, who I am aptly naming the Cry Guy. Why is he called the Cry Guy? Well, he likes to cry. Cry, cry, and cry. Uh, this Berserker is a really, really fun slam dude who basically war cries and destroys face. Uh, it's super, super fun. Uh, basically, I'm just going to go into a map and start explaining what we're doing here. Uh, now, I am using slams. The exact slam that I uh, am using, I, I don't know exactly yet, but right now you're going to be see seeing gameplay on Earthquake, and it is heaps and heaps of fun. We'll go over the tree in a moment, uh, but this is uh, the first update on this build, and it's uh, really, really performing well. So basically, we go to a pack, we roar, we slam down, and it just explodes around us. Now, you'll really be able to see the damage when we come to bosses, uh, because uh, we basically stack up some pretty insane Intimidating Cry, some Seismic Cry, and then some Berserk as well, dealing insane amounts of damage. Uh, now, we are level 78 at the moment, so basically I'm just going to try and rush the boss here for you, but it's fairly smooth gameplay, uh, but I just need a little bit more area, and then we're just going to be able to clear maps uh, even crazier than we do already. Now this is some of the most fun that I have had this league already. Uh, I know it, I know we're uh, only a week and a half into the into the league, uh, but this is just it's extremely fun. Slams, guys! If you have not tried slams, give slams a go. I do have a uh, bleed slam gladiator build, the Quakener. Some of you have been playing it. Thank you so much for playing it. And I hope you're enjoying it. But if you haven't seen that one, there will be a link down below for that video. Uh, very very fun. But this is a uh, version of just like big massive hit damage. So, as we come to the boss here, hopefully, or bosses I should say in the courthouse map, hopefully we're going to be able to uh, one-shot them. So let me just kill these mobs here. Go down like here. Cry, cry, berserk, slam. And, oh, we almost one-shot all of them. We had to hit the last guy there. So as you can see, just one big earthquake slams down right there like that. In terms of our links, we are using Earthquake with melee physical damage, Fist of War, which is a new support this league, Brutality and Pulverize, just giving us big, big slams on the ground, exploding close to almost all the screen there. And we did manage to find a Belly of Beast in Solo Cell Found, as well as a Hesmana's Bloodlust, which is really, really nice. Right now, I'm just using Earth Shadow with a General's Cry, just for a little bit of damage, but I might be dropping this because the only cries I really am using right now are Seismic and Intimidating. My links still need a lot of work, I need to get some second wind in there, I want to start using dash instead of uh, leap slam, although celestial leap slam does look pretty cool, but that does mean that we can jump to the tree now and have a look. As you can see I've only completed cruel lab, so I've gone straight first into warbringer, because this is giving us insane uh, rage generation, and then 50% more damage if a war cry has sacrificed rage recently. So basically against bosses you get 20 rage, uh, or 20... Yeah, 20 Rage uh, every time that you uh, Warcry. Uh, so if you Warcry once, Warcry twice, uh, that means that you've pretty much uh, sacrificed some, some Rage, meaning you get that 50% more, and then you do a big slam, and then getting some double damage with Intimidating Cry. Absolutely insane damage coupled with Fist of War. There are so many more multipliers in this slam. Basically, I want to take this as far as I can to the end game and see how many... Uh, slams it will take to kill things like Shaper and all of that kind of stuff. So uh, definitely tune in for all of that. Uh, the tree itself, basically we're just passing passing through some uh, life, getting Resolute Technique, Axe Nodes, because we are leveling with the Axes at the moment, and then just some Warcry stuff here and Warcry stuff here, and a little bit here as well, just to give us good speed on the Warcrys. For the end game of this uh, build, I am thinking of actually switching to Staves and going Crit, uh, because I do actually want to take... Uh, just Aspect of Carnage, just for more damage, and then going into Flawless Savagery as well for some great flat physical damage, Crit Strike Multi, and Crit Strike Chance to attacks as well. This is probably going to be super, super nice uh, in the end game. That's pretty much all I have to say with this build at the moment. There is a work-in-progress path of building down below, uh, just of this character as it is right now, but it is subject to change for further build updates and everything like that. So, 
Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And until next time, Badger, out. <laughs>